The First Amendment gives you the right to live according to your faith without being harassed. And uh, a lot of people, you'll ask them, you say, what's the First Amendment? And they'll say, separation of church and state. Separation of church and state is not in the United States Constitution, okay? It, it, it was a Supreme Court ruling a few decades ago um, where it actually entered the lexicon. But the fact of the matter is, we must preserve the right of people to live according to their faith. And when our system does things that in fact do impinge upon a person's ability to live by their faith, the government has the obligation to rectify the situation. That's why we have separation of powers, because our founders recognize that one branch or another might go off the rail and make a wrong decision. Uh, certainly our judicial Supreme Court has made some very bad decisions in the past. You know, things like the Dred Scott Act, um, and things like the Uberfeld uh, uh, ruling on gay marriage, way out of whack. Uh, that impinges upon the ability of people to live according to their faith. And the legislative branch has the obligation, and as president, I would really encourage them to come up with legislation that protects the livelihood and the freedom of people who believe that marriage is between one man and one woman. There's no reason that those people should be persecuted in our society. We also need to recognize why this is such an important uh, ruling for the advocates of gay marriage. The Bible, in both the Old and the New Testament, is pretty firm against their way of thinking. But if you can, if you can negate that, if you can negate that, then you can negate other portions of the Bible as well. This is the camel's nose under the tent to undermine the Christian foundation of our nation. Um. Well, um, I, I don't disagree with what you just said, but the implications of it are chilling. It seems to me that you are clearly saying that undermining um, Western values, Judeo-Christian values, is not the result of liberal policies, but it is the specific intention of liberal policies. Uh, is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, I believe that there are a group of uh, progressive individuals who have intentionally been trying to take over our school systems, uh, been trying to take over uh, the media in particular, uh, and various areas where they, through their propaganda, can change the under, can undermine, you know, the principles that made America great and substitute them with their principles and they have imposed political correctness so that you can't even talk about it while they change the fabric of society. That's what's happened. That's why we've changed so quickly. And that's why if we don't do something about it, which takes courage, we will end up with a very fundamentally changed nation. Well, I found it interesting. Um, last night, uh, a bunch of us watched the debate on that screen there on a two hour uh, delay. And uh, I was shocked by two things. Uh, I was shocked by Trump saying what he said about Planned Parenthood. I thought it's one thing to have a moderate or a confused view of the issue. It's another thing to, on, on, a, on a GOP stage, say that I think Planned Parenthood really, really does a lot of good stuff. I'm against the abortions. And by the way, that's probably only 3% of, of what they do, which is like saying, you know, baseball stadiums that, uh, you know, 3% of what they do is, 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 is hot dog sales. And, you know, it, it's, it's, they're in the business of abortions. So that shocked me that he said that and that he's so out of touch with what we conservatives believe. But I was also shocked that Governor Kasich said, in effect, that ship has sailed. If you're in the business of commerce and somebody comes to you and says to you, you need to photograph my, uh, my lesbian wedding, uh, 
then you must kind of shut up and do it and pray for them. I have to tell you, I was shocked by that. I was shocked to hear that, too. What do you make of it? Uh, I I make of it the fact that many people have been mesmerized by the secular progressive movement, and uh, they have come to accept it almost by osmosis without recognizing what the implications are. Uh, I have not... I know fully what they're doing, but that's because I do a lot of reading. And, uh, you know, I, I read conspiracy books. I read all kinds of books. Uh, I also read communist books and socialist books. And I know about some of these plans that they have. Uh, and a lot of people say, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, you can look and you can see very clearly what they are doing, how they have taken over particularly the educational institutions, so that they can basically change the thinking of our young people. And that's why they're so vulnerable to somebody like Bernie Sanders, who comes along and says, free education for everybody. And they have no clue what that means. 